Oh my goodness, look at this. Some sort of Easter egg dairy. Hello everyone, I'm in the car again. I think I don't even need to state that I'm in the car anymore because every single video I start it in the car. But that is because we are just on the way to Tesco um, and we are going to Tesco because we need to do a bit of shopping. We have sorted out our meal plan um, for the next few days and we need to go and get some stuff so that we can fulfill the meal plan and eat food and eat meals and stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, crazy. Um, so yeah, we're going to Tesco now. We're literally just coming into the car park. I can see all the car parking spaces and everything. I'm not driving, obviously. Mark's here. Watch out, pedestrian. <laughs> it's a pedestrian. Not um, looking. Not looking where she's going. So yeah, we're just going to go in. And also, I have heard rumours. Just rumours. Really? Oh, no, there's an ambulance here. I, I don't like you, it. She doesn't like seeing ambulances. I don't like ambulances. seeing ambulances. Although it's a good thing because someone's getting some help. Um, or they could just be ambulance staff getting a sandwich, to be honest. Meal deal. Yeah. Good choice. Um, but yeah, I've heard rumours that my book, the third book, is in Tesco. So... Hopefully it is, otherwise probably I will just cut this bit out of the video so you don't need it. It will be somewhere. I hope it's in Tesco. So um, yeah, we're going to go and have a look, see if it's there, get some food. And we're trying to do this all in a very quick amount of time because the time is about half past two. And the Tesco we're going to is near schools. And when it gets to near three o'clock, half three, Run. there is so many children around. So we're going to try and be speedy. Um, so come with us. There she goes. Trolley for you. <laughs> that in the meal plan? Um, don't eat these. <laughs> oh, I was about to put them in. I need the scanner. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at this. And eight pounds as well. What a bargain. So yeah, this is in Tesco alongside Joe Wicks, Pinch of Nom, Monty Dom, all these people and all these amazing books and whatever's, <laughs> and then there's, then there's my name. My name. How exciting. So yeah, if uh, you have a Tesco near you, it's only eight pounds, which is an absolute bargain. And what I might do, I brought a pen with me. So I might just like sign a few. I'm not sure if I'm allowed. I might just do that anyway because I thought it'd be fun. So if you know where I live um, and you know what my local Tesco is, you might find some in here that are signed. I'm not very experienced at this. Don't want to ruin the book. There we go. <laughs> so Mark watched the last video and he saw this and said he wants one. So I think we're going to get it, aren't we? And then I'm going to take it home. And eat it. I'm going to, no, I'm going to split it in half and I'm going to make a dairy-free cheesecake in it. Oh, what a good idea. Maybe I'll get some stuff to do that now. <laughs> oh, um, and also, just for reference, everyone, there is loads of um, club card prices on stuff in Tesco, which makes things a lot cheaper. So if you have a club card, which I think most people have a Tesco club card, right? Even if you don't go to Tesco. Um, if you have a club card, instead of 175, this is 150. Instead of 270, this is 225. And they seem to have them on quite regularly. So you can see, like, you can actually get a loaf of bread for 150, which for gluten free is very good. So, yeah, like these, for instance, these cereals, they're usually three pounds. But if you've got a club card, two pounds. Bargain ish. <laughs> so, I have found something really good in here plenish gluten-free oat milk now loads of people always ask me about oat milk in the supermarkets most of it is not safe so this is not gluten-free oatly never um what else is it whatever this is that's not but this one it clearly states gluten-free so this is gluten-free so avoid all ones like this or you know the, the tesco one that's not safe but this one i know it's I mean, it's two pounds, so it's cheaper than the almonds of the same brand. But yeah, there you go, gluten-free oat milk. Not something you see every day. Also, in terms of Outpro, these are not gluten-free. None of these are gluten-free. The barista in supermarkets like this is not gluten-free. This does not say gluten-free on it. I know that there is an Outpro barista oat that is, but I think it's the one that's called Outpro barista oat professional. So this one, not gluten free either. So be super, super careful when you come to the supermarket for oat milk stuff. 
So people often ask me what dairy-free um, cream cheese I use for like making dairy-free and vegan cheesecakes. This is one of the ones that I use that I think is really, really good. And it's good because, and this is how you check generally with all of them, is that you look on here and you look at the fat content um, and you basically want to get a really high fat content which this one isn't too bad it's like 23 grams and 21 grams saturated so this one is really good but obviously with dairy free i find that things are a bit like thinner and they're not so thick but this one definitely does the job and in terms of cream when i'm looking for dairy free this is the one i use now this one is 100 percent plant and therefore it's vegan but I believe it still has oh no it doesn't now oh wow so this is actually free from gluten milk and lactose now like this used to be in a different packaging and it used to be a may contain milk so it was vegan but not strictly dairy free um, but now it, it's dairy free properly so that's awesome that's actually amazing that's so so good I'm so so pleased so yeah this is the one that I use So we've made it out alive. <laughs> I don't know why we wouldn't be making well, it out alive. Busy, it was quite busy. Um, but yeah, we made it out before the school kids, kind of. Um, and yeah, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, the ambulance. Um, oh yeah, the ambulance. So, you know, I said there was an ambulance outside and they might be like, she gets I get worried. And then I thought they're probably just having, like going and finding a sandwich to eat. They were, we found the ambulance people and they were paramedics and they, they were, were choosing they, a meal they deal. were choosing a meal deal oh we can cross um so yeah i think we've got everything i'll show you what we've got when we get home it's very very cold i don't understand why it's so cold i was like boiling the other day but now it's freezing so yeah we will see you when we get home i don't know if you can see i don't think you can it looks like i'm just filming a sunny day but it's actually kind of snowing a little bit but the snow melted straight away but i promise it, ah, Whoa. oh my god it's like a blizzard yeah you can see it a bit right yeah it's it's snowing in march wow right so i thought i'd show you everything that we got um i'll show you my meal plan in a little bit um so i'll just do a quick run through because i know that that can be interesting if you're nosy like me so firstly let's start with the elephant in the room which is <laughs> these two non-gluten free things these are both for mark and not for me um because mark does have some uh, non-gluten free items in the house not many um but he likes these well he finds new things that are like vegan um, and therefore suitable for his diet um and yeah, cause he is lactose intolerant. So he can't have like cream and ice cream and stuff, but he can have these. So he found like a, a vegan tiramisu. So he's gonna probably have that, some of that at least tonight. He's very excited about this. And then also some of the Ben and Jerry's like dairy free one. So there's this one. I don't think this is gluten free. I'm pretty 100% sure it's not cause I've never had any. Um, so yeah, those are the two elephants in the room, which are not gluten free but well if you're dairy free but you can have gluten then those are for you if you're just someone who can eat everything these might be for you but for most people watching this video these are not for you they're just for mark um so let's go through everything else and forget about how awesome these look and how unfair it is that we can't have them um i've got some boneless haddock fillets which will probably have some sort of like nice fish and chips kind of dinner this week so that's for them uh, I've got some turkey thigh mints, got some slow cooked beef. God, I've got the, the lights. We put new bulbs in these lights, so everything is reflecting. Um, but yeah, we got some beef, got some chicken thighs. We have got some lactose free Greek yogurt, because obviously, as I said, Mark is lactose intolerant, so whenever we buy yogurt, it tends to be lactose free. Um, got some passata, I quite like this one, quite nice. Then I got some, myself some flour because I was running a bit low on um, self-raising flour. Got some, I didn't put this in, but Mark's put in some applewood smoked ham. Very nice. Um, then actually quite a few of the things over in this section um, are for my little cheesecake experiment that I'm going to do, like a dairy-free vegan cheesecake thing. So I have got some biscuits, the base, I've got some... Uh, dairy-free vegan butter. I've chosen the floral plant butter because I think that's quite good. Then I've got the Elmley 
uh, 100% plant, which is like a double, uh, dairy, double, double cream, double cream alternative. So yeah, I've got some of those. We use this quite a lot, but I've got a couple of those. Um, then I've got some dairy-free white chocolate. Thought I'd try this one out. I I've used this one before, but I think I haven't used it since there was a rebrand. The branding looks quite cool, so I've got a couple of those. Um, and then obviously Mark wanted to buy this Easter egg. Hopefully it's not broken. No, it's not broken. But I'm gonna try and do like some sort of Easter egg, dairy-free Easter egg cheesecake things. So if you've seen on my um, on my Instagram reels or on my TikTok, I have made some recipes where I've done like half an egg and then it's got like biscuit base and like a cheesecake filler. I'm gonna do that with this. Hopefully it's gonna work. You'll, hopefully you'll see in this video if it does. Um, then other than that, I've got some little baby potatoes because I kind of fancy making some smashed potatoes or something. Rice cakes, just a simple lunch thing. Some like rice krispies kind of thing. Um, another rice thing here, but this is some um, risotto rice because fancy having a risotto. Xanthan gum because I've run out or, or almost run out of xanthan gum. Got some gluten-free oats. These ones are actually quite good value, um, not too expensive. Um, but yeah, they're gluten free. Then I have got some peppers, um, some carrots, some rocket. We eat a lot of rocket in this house, a lot. I've got some strawberries, which hopefully will be nice because obviously it's not the season for strawberries, but they are from Spain. So hopefully they'll be nice. They can maybe go inside the cheesecake thing that I'm making. Like, because it's a strawberry sort of white chocolate egg, I thought I'd do like a white chocolate and strawberry filling. See how that goes. Oh. Got to show you, got some curvies, which obviously I love curvies. Got them, some coconut milk, because you can never not have coconut milk in the house. Um, then this, this I mentioned earlier, this is the VO Life um, dairy free cream cheese, which will be for the cheesecake filling as well. Got a couple of those. Some courgettes, because we always, we eat a lot of courgettes, <laughs> a lot, lot, lot. Um, I got some carnation caramel because I use this in a lot of baking. It's obviously not dairy free. Um, it is very undairy free, but it's awesome. Um, so yeah, if you ever wonder what caramel I use for stuff when I don't make my own, this is the one I use always. Um, then I've got some oyster mushrooms because if like me, you can't really tolerate too much regular mushrooms uh, because of FODMAP reasons, for instance, oyster mushrooms are low FODMAP. So just chop them up and use them like regular mushrooms. They do look a bit weird, I've always thought, but they work well. Um, got some potato waffles because sometimes you need potato waffles for dinner when you can't be bothered. So I've got a pack of those. And then as you saw, not edible at all, but I've got some daffodils because I'll show you, it's a bit sad, but my daffodils are not looking so great. Yep, here are my daffodils. They looked fine yesterday, but today, They've dried out and they don't look good. So these are gonna get replaced. Also, I forgot to show you, you've got my nails redone. What do you think? Do you like the smiley faces? They do make me feel very happy. Let me show you the ones on here. Got them just, they're the same, but just a different way around. Kind of goes also with my ring, which is like a smiley face. So yeah, that's my nails and that's our shopping for the week. Anyway, I'm gonna put this all away now um, and get on with some work and I will speak to you later tomorrow. Right, see you in a bit. So I have been a little bit busy. You might remember when we were in the supermarket the other day that we bought this this egg and I said I was gonna make some like cheesecake filled eggs but dairy free versions because I've done the non-dairy free ones and then Mark gets sad because he can't eat them. So I made these and they've turned out so well. So you can see like, this is like the pink shell which is that like, it's it's strawberry crunch white chocolate egg and it actually has like bits of chocolate and strawberry in the egg so it's not just like a boring plain one. Um, so I've used that and then I've got the biscuit base in here which is completely dairy free and vegan. Like these are completely dairy free and vegan which I'm really really pleased that the cheesecake has come out so so well. Um, so this is like vegan white chocolate and then there's all the cream cheese and white chocolate in there and cream and goodness and lots of chopped fresh strawberries which actually the strawberries also I was worried if you remember I think I said that I was worried that they might not be uh tasting that nice because you know it's not the season for strawberries but these smell great they taste great and all in all 
this was just great. So um, yeah, it all looks like this because I've just taken a photo um, and a video. Um, so that's coming soon to the blog, but I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek. And also you'll notice that obviously the, the filming and the photos have already been finished because there is some missing. This is Mark trying it. Um, but yeah, I think he wants to try some more and he's asked if he can try some more. So <laughs> I'm going to film him trying some more because that's what he has to do to gain another little piece. Anyway, here is the, the man of the hour. First of all, thank you. This looks absolutely unreal. It's alright. And today we have, it's been 13 years to the day since we met. Yes. So I assume this is why you made this for me. Um, no, I just made it because we I... needed to reveal. Yeah, I just made it for content. <laughs> but, oh, it no, feels... it's also, uh, it's good that I chose something spe specially that was dairy-free for you, because lots of things I make you can't always eat. Well, I haven't actually had a cheesecake in about five years at least. Yeah, you do realise that this che this uh, Easter egg is quite big, so uh, it's not one portion. Well, there you go. go. Thank you. Cheers. That is insane. Yeah? That does not taste like a dairy-free thing. Well, the thing is, lots of people think That's that you crazy. can't have a dairy-free cheesecake, don't they? Or a vegan cheesecake. They think that the only way you can have it is if you use, like, cashew nuts or weird things and make a raw cheesecake or something. That's not how we do things. We just use, super, uh, like, really simple supermarket ingredients. And you get this! That is insane. There you go. And I haven't even eaten the egg. Oh, because yeah. Because I'd probably, like, knock it off the plate. Yeah. But that's but... that's not the bit that I made. <laughs> Oh, how's the egg? Because people probably want to know about that because you know dairy-free eggs can be a bit hit and miss. The egg has got—it literally looks like it's got Rice Krispies in it. It's—it's it's it's not crunchy. It's like strawberry white chocolate, and I think dairy-free white chocolate is always a bit disappointing. I think maybe the flavouring of it helps it. So to have other flavour, yeah, that helps. And so clever of you to make a strawberry and white chocolate cheesecake inside a strawberry and white chocolate egg. Thank you. Are you some sort of genius? Yes. Yes, that's me. And I made it, and I've put it on a nice pink plate for you as well. It's all, just it's all it's matching. Like, it's like dinner in like half an hour, so. Yeah, I, I think I think please put this in the fridge and you can have a little bit later, but you can't eat the whole thing. I did pretty well. I love that we can see a little bite, Mark, <laughs> <laughs> where, you, where you ate some of the egg. So there you go. Um, Overall, 100 out of 10. Great. 3,000%. And it's great. Thanks for your feedback. Much appreciated. Thanks for your feeding of me. Over the past 13 years. Well, I did feed myself some of that time. <laughs> but yeah, let's just include that. Oh, and also, if you picked up Sainsbury's magazine this week, you might have noticed that I'm in it, but not in the normal way of being in it. My recipe that was in like a couple of months ago has been made by this person, um, I assume your name is Sally, so if you're watching this, thank you, Sally. Um, she made it, I think she must have tweeted about it or something, and they printed it saying, like, her tweet and how she enjoyed the recipe. So, yeah, this recipe um, is in a previous Sainsbury's food magazine, but it might be on their website as well. If not, um, and you want it, let me know and I can sort that out for you. But, yeah, supposedly it was very well liked, so... Thank you. That made me feel really happy. I was really pleased to see that. I didn't spot it, actually. Someone in my Facebook group spotted it. So thank you for letting me know about this because, I don't know, it's just, just really nice. And it's nice to see gluten-free being mentioned in food magazines as well because we need to be noticed. <laughs> also, thought I'd just show you this little girl. She's very sleepy. Just relaxing. I think I've probably shown you this before, but here is her bed. This is where she's supposed to sleep. But she doesn't like to do things normally. She sleeps on the edge of her bed with her head resting on the side of the sofa. Because you just like to be different, don't you? Aww. Went on a long walk today, didn't we? And she's done. It's hard life. People like seeing you, don't they? But you're not really that bothered. She likes you all really. There we go. 
that eye she gave me was just the eye of go away. <laughs> so I'll go away. So as promised, I thought I'd show you what's in my meal plan for the week ahead. This obviously is written all in my third book, How to Plan Anything Gluten-Free, which got the meal plan section and then lots of the recipes I'm actually using are all from the book as well. I'll go through them anyway. So I'll go through day by day, shall I? Or shall I go through breakfast, lunch, dinner? Mm, let's let's do breakfast, lunch and then dinner. Let's go in columns. Is that what it's called? Um, so Monday breakfast, I've got granola because I've got some in the cupboard that I made. Um, the recipe is actually in the first book. I've got some maple pecan granola that I'm just nearly at the end of so I probably considering I'm having it Wednesday Monday there is not much left so I probably should make a another batch soon I might make like a, a strawberry one something like that um so yeah got some granola in here then Tuesday um I've been really getting into having sort of breakfast smoothies um so I might have one of those or if I can't be bothered because that means cleaning up the the smoothie maker I might just put some fruit and yogurt in a bowl probably with a bit of flaxseed because I find flaxseed is just just seems to really help me so granola smoothie or fruit and yogurt granola again <laughs> I mean like it, it's it's just how it is right like breakfast I used to have breakfast the same thing every day but I really find it helps me to want to have breakfast when I change it up but obviously not every single day but I definitely try and make a conscious effort to switch up my breakfasts and lunches more these days just so that I enjoy my food a little bit more um so Thursday and Friday I'm having baked porridge I tend to have baked porridge a couple of days in a row because I make enough so that I can have it for two breakfasts in a row um because you can keep it and then like heat it up so yeah Thursday and Friday then on Saturday breakfast muffins because I like to make some they're basically they're not like English muffins like in the second book although that's awesome these are more like a savoury muffin um, which I quite like on a Saturday morning so I've got that in there but obviously things might change might be going out on a Saturday morning probably not but you know things can change um, and Sunday always have pancakes well kind of always so pancakes on Sunday um, let's go up to lunches so lunches, on Monday I tend to have leftovers because we have a nice sort of, might have a roast or just any old thing really, but we always make a little bit more on a Sunday um, so that I can have leftovers and tend to do this throughout the week. So sometimes these things will change on lunches because I might just have leftovers if we've got spare. I prefer to do that rather than open something new. Um, so then, very boring thing to write down, but a tuna sandwich on Tuesday. Um, I've been using a few... Uh, videos ago I showed some bread that I got sent from the gluten-free bakery and I'm still using that because I got it in the freezer um, so I'll be having some of that because I absolutely love it it's so good um, cheesy flatbreads which is from this book like chili cheese flatbreads um, and I'll be having that with my favorite topping which is actually in the book as well which is just some halloumi some brocket um, and just jazz it up I'll probably do it with some sort of mayo or something like that it'll, it'll be nice maybe I'll show you we shall see. Um, then on here on Thursday, I've said poke bowl because I have these a lot when I'm out and about, like when I'm doing photo shoots or when I'm in London. This is something that we always order and I don't often make them that often at home. I used to, but I don't that much anymore. So I really want to make sure that I make one this week. So that's something that's going to happen hopefully. And again, let me know if you want me to show that. Um, this, I've called this, I didn't know what to call it. So this is my shake it up salad. Um, salad always seems really boring, but I probably out of all of these, I love this the most. I love a shake it up salad. So basically I just put loads of stuff that I like in a salad um, in a bowl, then put all my dressing in and really give it a good shake and it makes the best salad. Um, so yeah, having that. And if I can't be bothered another day, I might have that as well. Um, and then on Saturday, this, I mean, this is weather dependent. If it's really sunny and whatever, then I probably won't have soup. But with how it is at the moment, I mean, I'm wearing a jumper. I'm expecting the weather's not going to get that much better in a week. So I've got soup on here and always I make my homemade croutons, which I just use leftover old bread to do it. And I always have done. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And on Sunday, nothing because we tend to have pancakes a bit later and then I might just, I just snack on a Sunday a lot more. Um, so, although I don't have anything in my snack section because I'm not sure what that'll be. But yeah, I just leave this open kind of thing. And this is all written in pencil so I can change it up whenever I want um, in case I want to change things. Um, so yeah, anyway, the big section, the main section that I like to meal plan for is dinner. Um, so tomorrow, 
because today is Sunday. Tomorrow we're going to be having uh, meatball marinara spaghetti, which is in this book, and it's delicious and so, 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 so good. We're going to be using the turkey mints that we bought the other day. Um, so, yeah, you can, obviously in the book, um, it's not with turkey, but I really like using turkey mints, and I find that when you season it, it's great. Then, got bang bang chicken noodles on Tuesday. This is from the first book, and it's one of my favourite recipes in the whole entire world. <laughs> we eat it nearly every week. Um, then, got Thai red curry on Wednesday. That's from this book as well. So, there is lots of different dinner recipes in the book. So, Thai red curry's in here. Um, not sure what we're going to have in it in terms of protein and stuff yet. But yeah, I really fancy that. Um, pesto pasta, another sort of weekly staple for us. And... The pesto pasta that we do is actually, again, in this book, because it's a really simple one. We add a little bit of cream cheese. We use lactose-free cream cheese, and it makes it awesome. So, yeah, that's so far. What was that? Thursday. I feel like I'm rushing through the week. Uh, Friday, we bought some fish. So, hopefully, that will still be in date. Fingers crossed. If not, I'll put it in the freezer and defrost it. But we'll make some fish and chips. I'll hopefully, hopefully show you this, because this one is so, so nice and so easy to make. Um... But it's like almost like ones from the fish and chip shop, but not so much oil easy. This is like a quick one. It's not the one from the first book, which is a proper deep fried classic fish and chips, but it's pretty close to being as awesome. Um, Saturday, if you've seen my previous meal plans, <laughs> I always put pizza down because that's what I want on a Saturday night. Um, and then on Sunday, chicken and leek pie. I'm not sure if this is going to be the one that I've got in the book which is a pastry, or potentially the one that's on my Instagram, um, which is with a mashed potato top. I'll just see what I fancy. I had, didn't actually buy any pastry in this order, um, so I might make my own. Otherwise, I've always got potatoes, so I could do a mashed top. Um, and then snacks, I haven't put really any in yet, because that's something that I tend to do throughout the week, um, and then use it in conjunction with my food diary, so I can check you know, how I'm feeling. Um, but the one thing that we will be having because I'm gonna make some today, are some strawberry crumble bars this week because, yeah, I bought strawberries in the order and I have some left over. I used obviously some in um, the cheesecake Easter eggs for the white chocolate and strawberry filling, but I have some strawberries left over, so I'm gonna make some strawberry crumble bars and then have some on this day and probably have some throughout the week as well. So yeah, that's my meal plan of the week. I feel like quite relaxed once this is done, because it means all these points in the week, they're all sorted. I know what I'm having, and if I want to, I can change it. It's no pressure, but it t it's like, it takes the pressure off me, but there's also no pressure to have it. It's just nice. So, yeah. Um, and what I will say is that in next week's video, I can show you some of these recipes. So let me know which of these you'd like me to make in next week's video, and I'll do that. Um, and also just send me pictures of your meal plans because I love to see them. It's one of my favourite things to see. I love that I've seen quite a few people now do their meal plans and underneath things they write uh, what book it's from and what page it's in. Um, book it's from, page it's in? What book, what one of my books the recipe's from and what page it's on? There we go. Um, and that's that's just been awesome to see. So yeah. Anyway, that's all for this week. Thanks so much for being just awesome people. I'll link all my books in the description below if you want to check them out and haven't already. Let me know also um, what recipes from my meal plan you'd like me to make in next week's video. And yeah, um, I'll see you next week. I'm off to make some strawberry crumble bars. Bye!